guys, Captain Erica here, coming at you with a review video. Um, just hanging out in my backyard today. Um, I'm going to be reviewing Titan Survival Survivor Cord, so stay tuned for that. Um, I just made myself this like cheapo DIY fire pit that won't like burn the grass or anything, so my landlord won't get mad, and I'm pretty excited about it. So I figured um, while I'm doing the review, I'll break in my new cup. Um, that I got for Christmas. Um, I got this from my in-laws, so that was very nice of them. So we're gonna make some hot chocolate, talk about survival, survivor cord, and yeah, let's go ahead and just do it. Almond milk. Whoa. Because I don't want to make hot cocoa with water. Well, that's doing its thing. Let's open up this box of Survivor cord and see what we got. Okay, stoke the fire. Hopefully not too much. Let's look at Survivor cord. So this is um, a company that reached out to me and they offered this product for me to review. And I was happy to do so because this is something I've kind of been intrigued uh, about for a while. Survivor cord is not just paracord. <laughs> Um, it's got some extra goodies inside of it. It has wire, jute twine, and um, fishing line in addition to the seven strands of paracord. So inside uh, the strands, so that's pretty cool. This, this color they sent me was yellow. This is a reflective glow-in-the-dark yellow super red. So let's open it up. Ooh, this is getting hot faster than I expected. Oh yeah, I have boiling almond milk already. Holy cow. Okay, well, let's take this off the fire and then we'll play with the, the survivor cord. So one thing I was learning, I, uh, you know, you can get paracord like anywhere now. It's like cool because <laughs> you can get it at craft stores and stuff um, for like making paracord bracelets and all that. Um, but Paracord isn't just like the word paracord doesn't mean just like 550 paracord. There's actually like tons of different types of paracord out there. 550 is just like a really common one. Um, and 550 means it's supposed to be rated for 550 pounds, um, but you can get counterfeits and you know cheap kind of junk or whatever. And so I know that the Titan Survival folks are really proud of the fact that their paracord is rated, I think it's 650, 620. So th there's actually rated for 620 pounds and it's like legit. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, all of them come with this uh, nifty little Velcro thing. So this is 100 feet. I don't need 100 feet, 100 feet, but let's take off like six feet or so. And before I cut it, I'll do this so I don't mess it all up. Um, this is really handy. Okay. We'll just cut that and see what's inside. So I can't go fishing um, right now because I don't have a fishing license, but uh, I was thinking we could try to play around with the other two strands a little bit here and see what we got. So I'm going to pull this out and show you guys an up close view. So the red strand, that's like to show that this is Titan Survival's like stuff. It's, uh, this is not like a counterfeit or anything like that. Um, here's your fishing line, your wire, and your jute twine. So uh, it's all in there and it seems to be like loosey goosey enough that I should be able to pull this off relatively easy. So let me see if I can, yeah, it just like comes off super easy. This is cool. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna take apart this whole like thing and uh, play with around with this. So, so this is coming out pretty easy. I imagine if you were trying to do like a super long strand, it might be hard. So here's one thing, the jute is definitely like well, it's not meant to be like a strong cord. So here it, it broke a little bit um, coming out, but that's actually good because then I can just use this. Because what I want to do is try to make like spark a little fire. So it's a little waxy, which is nice. But I want to try to keep these 
Well, now I'm making a big mess of it. I'm going to try to keep the other ones not tangled and everything. And so once you pull all this stuff out, you can use the outside reflective stuff for your lure or what have you if you're in a situation where you need to make something like that. Oh, my fire's almost dead. So the wire, this is what I was curious about. I've been f playing around with the survivor cord enough to know that even though there's a wire in here, the wire doesn't seem to break or anything, but it's pretty, it's pretty like tough. Um, so I could, could see it legitimately making some like small animal traps. I was thinking maybe doing something a little more artsy craftsy here um, and making a bale for my, um, my cup that goes over the fire. Is it cold enough? Yeah. For this, uh, cause even just that fire there, which isn't very big, um, the handles are pretty small. <laughs> and so, uh, it'd be nice to be able to like reach in with a stick and, uh, pick up the cup instead of having to, um, use this, use, uh, my gloves. Cause even my gloves are not, you know, they're not heat proof. So sometimes it's a little too hot to grab stuff off the fire. Okay. So I folded it over. Uh, the, the strand over like double, um, just in case, cause it is, it's thin. And in my mind, I hadn't even thought about how I was going to do this. Um, I know. All right. So there's like hot almond milk in here, but so it's like half full. Yeah. It's, I mean, this is, this is sturdy. So let's say I need to put this on the fire. Just pick it up. Oh yeah. So yeah, you could use this for some like things like that. This is a very shoddily done <laughs> bale for your pot. So that's cool. Okay, mix it up in here. Breaking in the new cup. So I pulled out some of the jute. I'm just gonna use my lighter from my ADC to light this up. It's really like waxy and sticky, which is which is cool. I think that'll make it light up really easy. Oh, my lighter's I'm not liking the breeze here. Wow, that burns super good. So, if you need to start a fire, this is really great tinder. Look at that, it's like a big old match. Nice, okay, I'm gonna put it in the fire. There we go. Um, that's cool. <laughs> okay, and I'm running out of light, so I gotta get this party moving here. Drink some hot cocoa. Peppermint, super good. Wow, that's good. Okay, focus. So, survivor cord has all the features of paracords. So one of the things you can do is uh, regular, you know, paracord projects. So I've weaved um, some green survivor cord onto my handle of my bushcraft bucket. Then I have cordage and all the extra goodies inside of it already with me and so yeah I think that um you know obviously I could like I think I tested the kind of the extras of this stuff but any sort of thing you do with paracord you can do a survivor cord so one of the things I learned sorry so one of the things that I learned um with you know, when I was uh, making stuff with this is that when you use a lighter to melt in the end, just make sure you're really cutting it off exactly where you want it to be because the jute kind of like lights up a little bit. Um, and then there's the wire in there, which doesn't burn. So if you like, you're melting it and it keeps melting, 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 like there'll be a wire sticking out. Um, you can just cut that off obviously. So that's just kind of like a random uh, tip there. Titan Survival is a, a company in California, um, small business. I always think that's pretty awesome. Seem like pretty legit folks, so 
I'll include the link below. If you click on my link, I get like a little kickback and that supports the channel, of course. Um, but do, do check out their stuff if you're interested. They've got some other things on their website as well. Um, I think the survivor, survivor cord is definitely, if you're into kind of the EDC life, definitely. I definitely think it's cool. Or just like cool survival gizmos, you know. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me and drinking some hot cocoa, even if it's just over the internet. <laughs> um, I will be back with probably more backyard bushcrafty videos because um, it's really nice when my son's taking a nap just to kind of come out here and play around with stuff. Um, and I just wanted to say, because I didn't really say this in the beginning, I won't ever review something or like tell you guys to click a link or anything unless I like legitimately like the product. So it's definitely cool. I'm looking forward to um, making some more um, paracord projects with it. And yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. Peace.